asceticism in religious circles because uh, well not just religious circles but political circles there's so much fanaticism because there everyone's trying to take a futuristic approach to ancient writings ancient texts and they're taking positions like well they're taking kind of a doomsday look at everything and uh they're, and so now, and now, now they're being anxious and zealous for what they believe is yet future, has future fulfillment. And some of them, some people, obviously, are more into it than others. You know, and there's a lot of believers who in 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 religion who aren't as fanatical as other others. But there's certain people they grab onto it. And then they go out and, and try to indoctrinate everyone. They try to win people over to their cause and their and their beliefs and and and, and their organization that they belong to. They get them to feel guilty if they don't participate in dispensing their the message to other people. And, and uh, partaking of all their ceremonies and traditional rites and all their activities. Uh, then they put guilt trips on you. Oh, and they try to disassociate. They say, oh, you don't, you're going to be, if you, if you have a membership with the organization, they'll, they'll try to drop your mem membership and they'll, they'll excommunicate you like, the, like what they did in, back in the medieval times, the Catholic Church. They did it to Martin Luther, they did it to others, the Calvins and Knox. All these diff different people who ended up being Protestants, because they called them Protestants because they protested against the Catholics. They said, no, we ain't going to fall for that. We're not going to worship Mary as, as a deity. Uh, we're not going to pray to the saints and exalt the saints as if uh, they're divine entities. Uh, we're just going to stay faithful to the Creator and, 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 and Christ, uh, who was a representative of, of, of God. He was, the inner, he was a spokesman for God. But, uh, but uh, they, they went a little too far. The Catholic Church, making everybody, they made a big business out of it. And they would dig up people's graves and put them on trial and they, they, they called it, uh, oh, what'd they call it? There's a word for it. But anyway, yeah, they literally did it. They, they took, they, they dug, they dug, uh, they got confessions out of dead people. They dug them, they went to their grave sites, dug up their bodies, put them on trial, and then they made their other family members pay for it to absolve their sins. Yeah, that's how the Catholic. That's how the Catholic Church. How the Catholic Church, or one of the ways that the Catholic Church got so rich, they would dig up dead bodies and put them on trial. Literally, it was pretty sick. But that's uh, that's cultic. That's occultic. Not only that, but they would do other things in the name of God. That was very, very evil, actually. Worse than worse than. Pagan, uh, paganism, and heathenism. Terrible, terrible, terrible.